Hello there. We are a country full of lunatics. <laughs> there isn't a person in Ireland who's more than a first cousin away from genuine psychiatric illness. <laughs> and I love it. There's a man who lives near me who has the dental equivalent of a comb over. <laughs> he has no teeth, no teeth on this side of his mouth. And the teeth on this side are trying to cover it up. <laughs> there, there was a set of identical twin sisters who worked in a shop in the town and one of them passed away. And about a week later, my friend went in and said to the girl, was it you or your sister that died? <laughs> now, isn't it wonderful? Isn't it better to see a wild rabbit in your garden than to have two tame ones in a cage in the kitchen? You can't be locking people like this up. They need to be let free to roam around the countryside. In Ireland, before we had psychiatric hospitals, all we had were open spaces. <laughs> if you were mad, people just told you to fuck off. <laughs> there are things that help, and there are things that don't help. You can't have pretty women reading the news. It's too distracting. How are you supposed to weep for Egypt if she's gorgeous with big false eyelashes? We know this in Ireland. We have a rough looking woman reading the news. She's got a black eye and three missing teeth. She just stares down the camera. You think you have it bad? Wait till you see this fella. Roll the tape. <laughs> now for the weather. It'll be pissing rain all week. I believe that alcohol, alcohol helps. You need a drink. Irish people do. When things are getting serious, it's when you need a drink the most. It's why we put St. Patrick's Day in the middle of Lent. <laughs> that, that wasn't a fluke. That's pure Celtic genius. We knew there was no way we were going to go 40 days <laughs> and 40 nights on pancakes. We'd need a half time during Ramadan, so we would. <laughs> On St. Patrick's Day, Jesus himself comes out of the desert, Mother of God. <laughs> is there any chance of a pint, is there? <laughs> the devil is driving me demented. <laughs> it's question after question. He is relentless, so he is. Pint of Guinness, please, Seamus, thanks. <laughs> What's that? I'd love to judge the parade. <laughs> I was diagnosed recently with a thing, borderline personality disorder. I'm either psychotic or neurotic. Neurotic, bad for me. Psychotic, bad for you. Basically, I'm not good on my own or with people. <laughs> I went to see this old European psychiatrist who lives in the town where I grew up. And he said to me, come in, come in, come in. Because he learned English from the Count on Sesame Street. <laughs> what seems to be the problem? I said, do you know sometimes when you're at home and you're watching a movie and you've got a box of Pringles on your lap 
and there comes a stage of the evening where you have so many Pringles in your mouth, you can't hear the fucking television. <laughs> We have to find a way of letting anger out in safe place. I want you to bark, bark, bark like a dog. And I was there, woof, woof. And he fucking hit me, bad dog. Bad dog. Bad dog, Tommy Dearden, bad dog. And I don't know what came over me. But I turned into a big, bad dog! I got so far into character, I couldn't get out of it! I pissed on his newspapers! God bless you, Montreal! Thank you very much.